Hi everybody, what I'm making now is my famous chicken pot pie. It's nutritious, delicious, easy, and it's perfect for working moms that need to put dinner on the table within 15 minutes of walking in the door after work. First, put your oven on 400 and let that preheat. These are pre-done pastry sheets, okay? Easy. I've tried several different ways making them homemade. The twins like this the best. So I cut these uh, three ways down the middle, and now I'm going to cut them horizontally. Now, I'm putting them on my cooking sheet, which I've already sprayed. Step one, done. Now I'm putting these in the oven 400 for 10 minutes. That's in the oven. I've got 10 minutes to prep the rest of the chicken pot pies. Now, I chopped up a small onion last night. I'm not using the whole thing because Lucy doesn't like onion, but they're transparent because I sauteed it for about three minutes, so I'm gonna try to sneak them in. I also have cream of chicken soup locale, two cans, and three quarters of a cup of fat-free milk. Now, I'm really gonna stir this well because this needs to be consistent before I put anything solid in. The next thing I'm going to do is add the vegetables. From the studies I've seen, the frozen retain their nutrients better than canned. So I've got two cups of mixed vegetables. I did a cheat and picked up a rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna need two cups of chopped chicken. I like to make it all tiny little bite sizes. John David went to a restaurant, which shall not be named here, and got a fish bone stuck right here. I still have the x-ray, okay? So when you are taking the chicken off the bone, it's best to do it when it's warm because you can feel it a little bit better. Uh, don't want a repeat of that night in the emergency room. I also have one large brown potato. I skinned it and chopped it up and boiled it into cubes like this. I like the skin. The children are afraid of the skin. They think it's dirty. I wait for last to put these in so they don't get smushed. Okay, this one is ugly. They're not gonna eat that. Nobody wants an ugly potato. Oh, another one. No, they're not gonna eat that. I don't want them to reject it before they even get to taste it. Because the pastry will already be done, I'm gonna heat this up for three or four minutes on the stove top to get this nice, hot, and bubbly to pour onto my pastries. Okay, now we're ready. So I've cut the puff pastries open, so I've taken the mixture off the stove top, kept simmer for about five, six minutes. Now I'm going to scoop the chicken mixture onto them. I don't know if I'm gonna not eat this myself. Give it a top. Well, you look at this, awesome. Here's the taste test, John David. Okay, Lucy, try it. I love it. She likes it. Yummy. Did you say yummy? For this super easy recipe, go to hlntv.com slash nancy.